Happy 4th of July, everybody. I'm Mr. Daps, and I'm here with Katie at a very safe, socially distant 7 or 8 feet. I don't know. It's all good. Um, we're more than 6, though, so for those of you that are worried, we're being safe. Um, we realized that with 4th of July coming, we always forget to prepare for said 4th of July, and uh, desserts are a good thing. So we thought it'd be fun to make a patriotic cake uh, that's really inspired by my grandma. She used to make angel food cake and decorate it for basically any summer holiday, um, but 4th of July in particular. So this is super easy to do. All you need is cake mix for angel food cake, water, it's like one and a third cup, I think, strawberries, blueberries, and uh, Cool Whip as well. And we are going, oh, and we also need to set the, the oven for 350 degrees. I can do that, I think. Hit bake first. I am. There you go. Okay. All right, so there we go. And also an angel food cake pan. If you get one of those, great. If you don't, you can use something else. Just look it up online. It's super easy. So I'm gonna get out of the way and I'm gonna let Katie actually put the cake together. Sound good? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a wonderful box of box mix. It's angel food cake mix. It's pretty hard to miss. Um, you open the box. You take out the bag of mix. This is where it gets complicated. So make sure you're following along. You grab scissors and you cut it open. That, that's where people people get confused. They, they uh, try to tear it, they get cake mix everywhere. I know, it's very tempting. So you get scissors, maybe a better pair of scissors than that. Um, so it cuts a little bit easier. And then take the powder that's in this bag and put it in a bowl so you can mix it. And you try and get it all out and not all over you. Because currently it's in my nose. <laughs> I don't want to sneeze everywhere. Cause that's the, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, don't do what I did. Uh, and then you take the water, which has been pre-measured for me. I definitely didn't, so I'm just gonna trust that this is enough. Uh, and then you put it in here, right? Cool, that's all the ingredients. And then you take a whisk, right? And you, you go like this and you whisk it. Um, but I really don't want to. Uh, it's a lot of physical labor, and I'm very tired, and it's like 80 degrees. Um, so I'm gonna make Mr. Dax do it. So as you can see, I got the short end of the stick, or Katie just whined. But um, she's making a face at me now. That's how you know you did it. But you wanna you wanna mix this until it's nice and smooth. You can use a beater if you'd like. I just don't use beaters very often because um, they're loud and obnoxious. But it's gonna puff up really fun. Um, I don't. I think it's pretty much egg white kind of like consistency, but once it's all um, mixed together and you don't have any of the powder left or the mix left and it's all nice and puffy, can you see how much bigger this got because I almost spill it out? Um, then you're going to put it in an ungreased angel food cake pan. You don't want to use a bun pan because it will um, not react the way you hope it will. And um, I think we're actually pretty good. So this is, see, it's kind of like nice and foamy and has this really cool, it actually reminds me of foam on top of coffee, doesn't it? You can talk from behind the camera, Katie. I didn't want to, uh, They may not hear you, but. Yeah, I didn't want to risk it getting coffee you now. And then you can grab a spatula, dump it in here, and then once this is heated up to 350, which it's not yet, we are going to throw it in the oven, and then we just wait. It's super easy. So uh, let's put this in here and hopefully not make a mess. Doing it. It's always fun when you do this because it just has this texture that is a lot of fun. And then mix it around a little bit so it's kind of flat. I know some people like to uh, eat all the stuff out of the bowl, but I don't usually. Sorry if that's a disappointment. Is this our first cooking segment, Katie? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I guess we did cookies with We did with Kelly. Yeah, we did the cookies with Kelly. No, so the BB-8s with Kelly. Oh, and the BB-8s, that's yeah. right. It was that in the same kitchen. That is right, we were right here. So, um, this is ready to go, that is not. Once we are ready to put it in, um, we're gonna put it in from 30, from 37 to 47 minutes, which this oven probably means it's closer to 47 because my oven tends to not be as hot as I would like. So we're gonna wait for the magical beep. The 
beep means that we can finally put the cake in the oven. And you're going to want to put it on the lowest rack in your oven. There's plenty of room to, to grow as a person, you know, or as a cake. So you're going to take it and you're going to be very careful, very hot, um, get an adult, even if you are an adult, get another adult. Make sure you don't burn yourself. You're going to put it in there. Oh, it's gonna go. You're gonna go right there in the center. You have plenty of room. And I think we said we're doing 47 minutes. Sure. So we're gonna come back in 47 minutes and uh, make sure that we have a cake. So there's about 30 seconds more until the cake says it's done. I just peeked in the oven and it's nice and toasted on top and it looks done to me. So we're gonna take it out. This looks awesome. Hopefully you can see it okay. It is definitely done. Um, unfortunately, we can't decorate it yet because everything would melt. So we're gonna put it on a bottle. Hopefully it'll stay. Yes, it will. We're gonna let it cool. This will take a while, so we'll be back. So one thing I should note, cake's supposed to go upside down, not right side up. So we flip that, we're gonna let it cool. So it's been about, uh, what, 45 minutes, something like that. It is cool, more or less, and stuck to the bottle. <laughs> That's what happens when you leave it there too long. Yup. So. so you're gonna cut around the outside of the cake. I always do the inside middle part too, um, mainly because, good, um, because I'm paranoid it's gonna stick. There. And I'd rather have over done it than under. Looks so like I'm hoping it will come out. And we'll flip it over. Woo! It's a cake! It's a cake! Alright, hands have been washed. We have our Cool Whip. I actually have two of these. I don't know if I'm going to use two of these. But, it's okay, I'll um, use the other one. I figured. And we're going to put it on the cake. Which isn't as solid as I was hoping it would be. But... It's fine. It's fine. It's squishy. It happens, right? Yeah, that's why. And the thing I do like about making these is you don't have to get them perfect with Cool Whip, like, because we're gonna hide it all with berries and whatnot anyway. So um, it's really just making sure you cover all of the cake. So we're gonna cover all of this cake, and then we get to the fun part, which is decorating. I think the fun part was eating it. Actually, you're right. The fun part is eating it. So I put the cake in the refrigerator so that the Cool Whip doesn't melt too quickly and hopefully it sticks together. And in the meantime, I'm going to cut the strawberries for the top of the cake. And you just cut the top off like this and then cut it in half this way. You can throw them in a bowl and then they will fit on the cake quite nicely. So then you take um, your cake that's kind of melting because it's ridiculously hot outside. Um, and as you can see, we've already started because we are trying um, to be as fast as we can. As Lightning McQueen said one time, speed, I am speed. Um, so we're gonna take strawberries and we're gonna take the pointy part and we're gonna face it. We're also it auditioning up. for Nailed It, by the way. That's that's the plan with this. That's 100% what this is. <laughs> um, honestly, Dax Magic should be on Nailed It for a thousand reasons. Would it be me or you though? Like, uh, it'd like be either. you. I, I'm not really a baker. I'm more of a cook. That's the whole point. Like Jenny's a baker. I'm yeah. a cook. But I think that's the whole point is that you're not a baker. Okay. Um, but I am slightly more animated. So I think that I if think you would be funnier on it. I think that if things went wrong, I think they'd like to see me in a bow tie and a trilby on nail day. Oh god, it's but, melting! Oh god, it's melting! All right, we're gonna finish this up really quick, and then we'll show you how it turns out. Well, we need to show them the blueberries. Put some blueberries on. Okay. Uh, basically, strawberries, blueberries. Put it between the pointy parts. Perfect. Red, white, and blue. Yay, America! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so I hopped in, helped with blueberries. Basically the cake is done. It is uh, definitely melting fast. So we're gonna put it back in the refrigerator. We're gonna eat it. It's gonna be great. Um, I would suggest doing this in a house with air conditioning. And air not conditioning, with stage light. Cause it's currently 84 degrees outside right now, which we use the oven also, which amplified the heat even more, but it'll be delicious and it'll be refreshing and it'll be wonderful. And it's a very easy, relatively oh, yeah. 4th of July, a uh, treat that's great for dessert that my grandmother made every year. So uh, we hope you've enjoyed this uh, vlog. 
whatever this is, and we're gonna put this in the refrigerator and then eat it, and it's gonna be great. Happy 4th of July. Nailed it!